Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel Flow Art. For new viewers here, I am Florence, a self-taught aspiring watercolor artist from Nagaland and this channel is me creating what I love. Before I begin, I want to thank all my viewers for the overwhelming response on my first YouTube video. It means a lot to me seeing more than 100 of you subscribed in just 10 days. I was so motivated to create more. So thank you so much. If you want to continue supporting me, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it with anyone who would love to learn and see me learn how to use watercolor on this channel. Today's video is sponsored by an anonymous person, a well-wisher who wanted me to paint the traditional attire of the Mao Naga tribe, saying that I'm supposed to first paint something of my own tribe and then the others. I said okay, I would do that, but it has nothing to do with tribes here. I would paint anything I like or feel inspired by. I liked the idea of painting my own tribal attire, so here I am. In today's video, I am sharing how I painted a couple wearing the Mao traditional attire. I started with some rough sketches, then onto this paper for the final one. I first started with a pencil, simple extra dark pencil, then finished it up with a Stedler Mars Lumograph pencil. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. This pencil was a gift from a friend, an artist friend. When I first received this pencil, I did not even bother to research its purpose. I only kept it for later use. It was only when I saw one of my favorite artists, in fact my favorite living artist, using this pencil that I started experimenting with it. Some of you might be thinking I should have at least known its purpose and other stuff like that. But no, I don't. I am still in the phase of figuring things out. So this pencil leaves a light mark behind even after erasing it. So this makes it easier for me to paint on top, unlike other ordinary pencils which at times messes the coloring. So I would say this pencil is a good catch. Okay now, the Mao Naga tribe. The Mao Naga is one of the major tribes constituting the Nagas. Nagas are a group of tribes spread over the easternmost part of India. The Maos inhabit the northern part of Manipur, state of India. They are also known as Imemwe or Memwe in their own language. I will not go into details, but just like the first video, I will place a link in the description below. Please have a look if you want to know more about the tribe. As you can see, after the pencil linings, I started applying the layers of skin. I always start with the skin. If this turns out good, everything else gets better. It's like the foundation of my painting. Some of you might have seen my other paintings on Instagram. This one is a little similar to one of my first paintings I made of a Mao couple. But this one is different. Different in a way more clean and... Yes. This one is different. When I was painting this, my mother was so concerned about the details, since I was painting our own tribal attire, that she would come by see me paint again and again just to make sure my colors and detailings were right. But when this was getting over, she stopped checking. By now she must have seen how hard I am trying to be accurate. I wanted to show all the details that I worked on. This one took me so much more time compared to the ones I don't film. Here I had to concentrate on the painting itself, then the camera, the camera angle and many other things that does not come about while only painting. This had me thinking, 
there are a lot of people who think creative people and whatever they create comes easy, but I do not think so. It takes time like other any other things that require concentration and good results. Anyways, let me tell you about what happened just after I uploaded my first YouTube video. A friend messaged congratulating me in advance for my millionth view. Oh my god, I guess I did not even hit 100 views at that time. And one of you even messaged saying you have watched the movie Akuni. It was like a homework done right, if you know what I mean. And I remember my family and my best friend sending the video link to dozens of people. I was so happy for the love and support. I am sure this kind of messages and love and support will drive me in my art journey. So I thank you so much. Today's painting is on an A4 sized paper. My first paintings were on A3 or A3 trimmed into smaller sizes. I switched to A4 because it was easy to carry around, then get printed and many other things. It was convenience that I switched to A4. But as you can see, the details that I try adding has worsened my eyesight. And so I have to consider switching back to A4 or larger and only portraits or light details on A4 or smaller. Okay, now coming to the materials. The materials, the watercolor I am using is the Ladoga watercolor. The paper is the Ganson watercolor paper, cold pressed paper, 300 GSM. Most of my paintings are on this paper and it's been long since I started. I now want to try other papers as well. I am an avid watcher of YouTube art tutorials and there I see many artists using quality papers and reviewing it in different ways. So there's no doubt I got tempted watching all those videos. So the other day to explore my temptations, I tried ordering some papers and a brush from Amazon. The particular paper I was looking for was very expensive, so I had to look for a more affordable one. But when I finally found an affordable yet fine quality paper, I couldn't check out because the items that I ordered were not deliverable to the selected address right now because of the lockdown. And right now I am in Kohima, Nagaland, so I will have to adjust with whatever I have. But if any of you know where I can find quality art supplies in Kohima, please uh, comment down below or DM me on Instagram. And so friends, I hope you enjoy watching the rest of the video. See you later. Hey, hey, hey.
So friends, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know how you felt in the comments down below. And like I said before, if there are people out there trying out watercolor and learning how to use it, let's all learn together through videos like this. Once again, thank you so much for watching and you can also follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook and Etsy store. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos. Stay safe. Bye-bye.